Good morning all of you. Today we will discuss about gravitation. As all of you know, I know all of you know gravitation very well. Gravitation that is every object in this universe attracts each other with a force of gravitation. For example, when you look here, the attraction between a table and a chair here and the attraction between you and your friend sitting here, all are typical examples of gravitation. Gravity is a special case of gravitation. That is, among the two bodies that you are considering, one body is of a larger mass like moon, earth or some other planets. That case of force of attraction between the bodies can be called as gravity. Now, we will directly move on to Newton's universal law of gravitation. Before that, from the Kepler's laws of planetary motion that Newton derived the universal law of gravitation. I will briefly say what are the three Kepler's laws of planetary motion. The first law is called as the law of orbits. That is, every planet will revolve around the sun in elliptical orbits with sun situated at one of the two foci. The second law is the law of areas. That is, the aerial velocity of a planet will always remain constant. That is, a line joining from a planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time. In other words, we can say that you can say that that is dA by dt, that is the aerial velocity will always be a constant. The third law is the time period, the square of the time period of revolution of a satellite or, a, or a of a planet around the sun is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis. It can be said like T1, that is T is directly proportional to a cube. And so now the Newton's universal law of gravitation, that is everybody in this universe attracts each other. And that force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two bodies that we are considering and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. That is F is directly proportional to M1 M2 by R square. That is F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square. Here the important thing that you have to remember is G. G is the gravitational constant and its value is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square. Another thing is you have to remember the dimensional formula of gravitational constant that is it is m power minus 1 l square t raised to minus 3 these are the main things. <laughs>